I'm the infamous here and this is going to be my first boob vlog and this is kind of all the questions you want to know about the procedure, about the size I'm getting, about the doctor I'm going to, etc, etc. So I posted a pic on my Instagram when I was at my pre-op appointment and I told you guys to ask me all the questions you wanted for this first boob vlog video. So you guys also asked me on Facebook as well. So I'm going to go through my phone and just answer all the questions and we're going to go ahead and get started. I think from the questions that you guys asked, you guys pretty much covered everything. So if there's anything I feel that was left out, then of course I'll answer them for you. So first, let's go ahead and get started with what I'm wearing. So this super, super gorgeous floral headband is by Floral Utopia. And I will leave their info down below. You can check out their Instagram, but they don't have a website. You just email them on what you want. So thank you so much for sending this to me. She did send this to my P.O. box and I just absolutely love it. Next, I'm wearing this cute bikini top by American Apparel. And this, it's $5, you guys. I think it was like regularly $12 in the summer, but now that it's cooling down, I got it online for five bucks. On my eyes, which I'm in love with my eyes today, I'm wearing this glitter, the Hobby Lobby glitter, which is eye safe. And it's this super pretty blue color. I just absolutely love it. And then on the inner corner, I have Tilt by MAC, which is such an oldie but goodie. You guys should check this out. I have a little bit of Meet the Fleet by MAC, which is super old. It's a nice matte navy. And I also added in a little bit of Cool Heat. So I just kind of mixed all the colors together. And then of course I just have carbon on the outside. And these lashes, these are the number 40 lashes by Krim. These are my second faves, which I've been loving lately. On my lips, I have Strip Down Lip Pencil by MAC and Raspberry Swirl. And then to lighten that, I put a little bit of my white paint stick on my lips, how I did in the Kim K tutorial. And I topped that off with the little gloss. I'm also wearing my Honey Bee Gold Ring, which the last day to pick this up is this Monday, September 22nd. And I do not even, I don't think this video is even going to be up by then. So I hope you guys have been picking them up. A lot of you girls ordered. The most popular were the earrings and the second were the sets. You guys love buying the entire set. So thank you guys so, so much for making my first jewelry launch a really successful and fun one. I hope you guys love the pieces I made for you. Let's see, I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and get right into this because you guys have a lot of questions and I'll try to go through everything as quick as possible. Oh, so to begin, this is the size I am now. I am a small B. So, you know, there's nothing much going on here. Here's from the side, you can see. And today I have on my Sally Hansen airbrush legs in the color dark. That's how I got this tan looking color. Okay, so the first question on Facebook is from Nick Room, and she said, what size are you going for? So Nick and everyone who thumbs up that question, I'm going for a good size D. So I don't wanna be a C because that's kind of the size I am with my push-up bra. So why spend all this money to just get one cup size up? So since I am kind of starting with a little something, I wanted to make sure I was in the D range. And I do not want to be in the double D range. I want to be a full D. Okay, the next question is from Susie Rentera. She says, are you going to vlog your journey? And yes, I'm going to vlog as much as I can. Like, you know, when I'm laid up on the first day and the second day, I'm going to have still like videotape me just so that I can give you guys a little current update and say how I'm feeling. And you know, I'm hoping to do that, but if I'm in a lot of pain, then of course not. But I know for sure I am going to have the one month update, two month update, etc., etc. So anytime that there's changes in my boobs, I am gonna be updating you guys. Okay, Bianca Lopez said, hey time, just wondering, are you nervous about the recovery? Love you, keep up the gorgeous looks. 
Thanks, Bianca. Yes, I was more nervous a few weeks ago about the recovery than I am now. It's kind of like after you go get everything settled, you're confirmed, you paid and everything, it's kind of like there's no turning back now. And then it seems like everywhere you look, you notice everyone who has fake boobs now. So it's like, okay, if all of them can do it, then I'll be just fine. So I've asked um, a lot of questions about the recovery. They said it's going to feel like an elephant is on my chest and it's going to be tight and it's going to feel like, you know, sometimes I can't breathe very well. And something else that I found really interesting is during the surgery, your arms are up like this for two hours. So that's where some of the soreness and tightness comes as well. So I mean, when, once you know what to expect, I feel like I'll be fine. And they said with the drugs that I'll have, which is Percocet, I'll be just fine. I'm gonna be loopy and out of it anyway. Elizabeth Marshall said, did you choose the armpit or the belly button way? And actually, I didn't choose either. I chose the areola incision because I really, really wanted to make sure I didn't have any visible scarring underneath here. I don't know, it's like I never wanna have those scars under there. So I wanted to have the areola incision. So that's the method I'm gonna use. Okay, Rose Smith said, how long did it take you to decide on getting them? What was your work research process like? Are you nervous? Okay, so how long did it take to decide? Um, as I told you guys in my previous video, I've been wanting boobs for years and years and years since I was like 18. And you know, I just kept saying, oh, when I'm 21, oh, when I'm 25, oh, when I'm this and that. And I was like, I'm 25, I need to just get them. So believe it or not, Shan XO, you helped me a lot on my decision after I found, or actually, you know what? That's how I found her looking up breast augmentation vlogs. And I saw this girl and I'm like, oh my gosh. And she made it look so easy and painless. And I was like, oh my gosh, if it's that easy, I just need to get it done since I've been wanting it for so long. So once I saw her vlog, I kind of started researching a little more and a little more. I did a ton of research. Make sure you do your research. Um, the different sizes, the different type of breast implants. There's the gummy bear, the silicone, the saline. Um, I also looked at the different profile sizes the risks involved, making sure that your doctor is board certified, the different routes in which you can get the breast augmentation and the different risks involved. And you know, things like the areola incision or through the belly button, I felt like that is more advanced. So I really wanted someone who was kind of specialized in that or had a lot of experience with it. And I found this great doctor who's actually from Miami. So that's the only reason I'm getting them done out here in Denver is because this doctor is from Miami so he knows what I want and his results are amazing. So let's see what else she said, um, are you nervous? Yes, I'm a little nervous. I'm, more, I'm not nervous about going under the anesthesia but I'm nervous about waking up and feeling that pain for sure. Okay, Janelle Quintal said, is this your first plastic surgery? Have you done anything else? Nose, butt, tummy tuck. Yes, this is my first ever surgery, so I cannot believe I'm even sitting here talking to you guys about this because I thought, of course I always wanted boobs, but I never thought I was gonna go through with it. So this is my very first. Melina Milan said, when your boobs are fully healed, will you be wearing more revealing tops? Basically, will you show the girls off, lol. And I won't say more revealing per se, but I just want to have more of a feminine, sexy, curvy body and, you know, be able to not have to always wear a push-up bra or do more of the effortless looks or like the really feminine suit look with like, you know, if you wanna be sexy for dinner and not wear a bra, but have that great cleavage, you know, things like that I can't wait to do. And also in like cute jumpsuits, just to be able to have boobs for once because I'm super flat. But of course, 
when the summer comes, I'm going to be in a swimsuit 24-7. Okay, Chevelle Blackburn said, I'm so proud of you. This is such a big decision and you are really making it happen. I feel like you won't know this just yet, but how long will it take for them to heal? And how long before you can leave the hospital? There's different stages of the healing. In all actuality, it can take up to a year for your implants to be 100% fully a part of your body and not have any issues with them. They say take five days to literally be in the bed and be taken care of 24 seven. And then at the two week mark, you're kind of, you know, feeling a lot better. My boobs are going to be very high, like up on my chest though. And it takes about four to six weeks for them to drop all the way. So that's the part I'm excited about for them to look like my own and drop into the pocket. How long before you can leave the hospital? So after the surgery, the surgery is a two hour surgery. After that, I'll be in recovery for about an hour and then from there I'm released. Sheeta Miss Pisces says, Time, I adore you and you make putting on makeup look so easy. You're my older sister in my head, seriously. Sorry, the sentence is a little choppy. I wish I could do makeup like you. Are you sure you wanna do this surgery? Don't you wanna have children one day, thus breastfeeding is healthy? What does your boyfriend and family think about you doing it? Okay, so yes, I'm completely sure and I'm super excited. Um, do you wanna have kids one day? Yes, of course I wanna have kids and breastfeeding will be just fine. What does my boyfriend and family think? Well, my boyfriend loves me just the way I am. He did never once push me to get it, but he also wanted me to be happy, so he said he doesn't care. But now that he sees I'm all excited, he's getting excited for me because I'm always showing him outfits like, ooh, look, babe, I'm gonna be able to wear this and I'm gonna be able to wear that now. So what does my family think? Oh my gosh, you guys, so I'm an only child and me and my mom are really close, so I was scared to tell her that I wanted to get my boobs done. I know, but if you're an only child, you know what it's like, even being 25. So I finally got the courage to tell her and she was super happy for me. She was like, that's great. I think they'll be so cute on you. And then she's gonna turn around and then change her mind. And now she's like, no, don't get it. I'm not supporting you in like, you know, a joking way. And she's like, don't do it. You're just so sensitive. You're my little baby, don't change. So now she's on the fence. So yeah, that's what my family thinks. Okay, Rashika Bianca says, how much does it cost? His price is $6,950, but for me, it is $6,565 because I'm paying cash. So if you pay cash, you don't have to pay the $385 fees for processing. So I'll run down the list with you real quick of how they come up with that price. So the procedure fees for the breast augmentation is $3,850. The saline breast implants themselves are $375 each. So that's $750. The anesthesia fee for two and a half hours is $675. And the facility fees, where I'm going, is $1,675. So to secure the date that you want, you have to put down a down payment. Then from there, two weeks prior to your operation, you have to have it paid full. So I already paid everything in full. Yeah, so now I'm all ready to go. Cassie Bishop said, Hi Time, where are you going to get it done and how much will it cost? If you don't mind me asking. Love watching your YouTube channel, etc., etc. And I'm currently studying to be a makeup artist and I'm loving it so far. So I'm happy, Cassie. And thanks for your question. So where am I going? I'm going to Dr. Campanelli here in Denver. He practiced 14 years in Miami and three years out here. So I'm so happy that I found him. I will leave all his info below if you guys um, want to check him out. I will put his info below. Okay, so Laura Samantha D said, what shape are you getting? And also, are you getting silicone and saline and how much? So, for the profile, I am getting high profile 
And as far as saline or silicone, I am getting saline. Now, saline is cheaper, but I did not get saline because of the price. I got it because of the look. All of the boobs that I looked at online and all of the desired looks that I see, they always turn out to be saline. So with the saline, they're a little more full right here at the top and right here where they start to round. They're a little more full. They come out a little more. The silicone look a lot more natural. When I think silicone, I think Kim K and Nicki Minaj. Even though I think Nicki Minaj has saline, I don't know. More of that natural, big breasted woman look. That's kind of the look that silicone gives. And I wanted more of that, you know, like beach girl, Barbie girl, round, nice boobs. I do not want them looking like watermelons or just straight circles. That's why I went to this doctor. He's gonna give me a nice, natural, full look. So I'm really excited. Okay, so Shataria Renee Williams says, my questions are, what size? Would you consider getting more surgery? Why and how did you choose your surgeon? The size I'm getting, I'm gonna be getting just over 500 cc's. So I'm already tall and I have a large breastplate. And another thing is here, I have a wide gap in between my boobs. So in order to fill that out and kind of push them together, and to get that um, D size that I want, starting at a B, I'm gonna have to do the 500 cc's. My doctor also recommended high profile because he said with the low or moderate profile, I will not be able to get that full D. So we're gonna do 500 cc's, it's gonna be high profile, saline, and it's going to be under the muscle. Would you consider getting more surgery? That's a good one. I kind of want to get my nose done only because when I was younger I had an accident and I kind of broke my nose. So a lot of you guys say, oh, about a lot of you guys say things about my voice and that's kind of why it's like that. I don't know what it's called, but it's that thing where this canal right here is crooked. So it, you have a hard time breathing. It would really help my breathing I almost like can't breathe out of one side of my nose and it would make it straight I'm sure you guys probably don't notice but my nose is a little crooked but that is one of the scariest things for me getting a nose job like the whole fact that they have to break your nose and then the bruising and that's intense for me I think that I can just keep going with doing my makeup and contouring it and call it a day so if I were to get super brave, I may get a nose job, but it wouldn't be to make it smaller or anything. It would just be to help me with my breathing and straighten it out a little. I also, I kind of want to get fat transfer to my butt truthfully, but also I know I could just work out and get my butt big. So that's what I'm going to start doing. And if that doesn't work, I'm kind of thinking about getting my butt done, but not getting a huge butt, just getting a little something extra. So that would be everything that I want. Angela Norris said, when are you getting them done? And are you going to show us, of course, with clothes on a before and after video? Good luck time. Hope you have a speedy recovery. Thanks so much, Angela. So I'm getting them done. Today is Friday, September 19th, and I'm getting them done on Monday, September 22nd. My appointment is at 9 a.m., so I have to be there at 7.30 a.m. I'm getting them done in three days. I'm like freaking out. I can't believe it got here so fast. And yes, I'm going to show you a before and after. Of course, you guys see me in my bikini. And I'm going to show you guys one dress that I've been dying to wear, which I can't wear without cleavage. I'm going to show you that as well. Okay, Sarah Jane Ellis said, if you become pregnant, will you keep them in? Of course I will. Okay, Candace Kenyatta said, when are you getting them done? What size? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you going to show them when they heal? And actually, you guys, that's my aunt. So hey, Candace, hey, Kennedy. She's really excited for me, and um, she knows my mom doesn't want me to get them done, but she's totally rooting for me. Yes, I'm so excited, but she says, are you nervous? I, in the back of my mind, there is that slight chance that, you know, 
something can happen or you're not going to be in love with them. So I'm like praying and crossing my fingers that I'm just completely 100% in love with the results. And she said, are you going to show them when they heal? Of course. Okay, so that was all the questions on my Facebook. Let's see if there's any more on Instagram, you know, that I didn't cover. Okay, you guys, so I'm looking on Instagram and I don't see anything that I haven't already answered. So I think for this first video, I about covered everything. I'll be keeping you updated on like the procedure, the post care, what it felt like afterward. Like I said, I'm hoping to do something next week. If not, then it'll be my one month update. I'm also going to be in the same bikini. Well, that was my idea so that you could see the results. But I got this from American Apparel online and it's way smaller than I thought. So, I mean, my other boobs probably won't even fit in this. But yeah, let me go ahead and put my dress on that I wanted to show you guys. So next time you can see a before and after. And I think that'll be about it. So one second. Okay, you guys, so this was the dress that I'm talking about. As you can see, anything with this super low cut, it's always too big. You girls with flat chest know what I'm talking about, and it's so cute online, and then you get it, and it doesn't even fit. Like, look, it literally hangs off me, but if I had bigger boobs, it would stretch the material and hold it up nice and sexy. So that's like one of the examples that I'm talking about. And for anyone wondering, this is from Nasty Gal. And lately, all these outfits make it so you cannot wear a bra underneath. So it's just like annoying. I'm so tired of it. So I can't wait to get my boobs. So here is a before on this dress. And once I get my boobs, I'll be trying this on again for you. So all of my small chested girls know these bandage dresses are a no unfortunately so this is what I look like now because come on our stomach and our boobs stick out the same amount it's not curvaceous and sexy for us now of course unless you're a stick or you're super skinny there's nothing wrong with having a flatter chest but you know I just want a little more extra for things like this you know these are the things we have to think about and be mad about and I definitely would not put this dress on without my push-up pads so see that gives you a little something to work with so yeah you guys that's the last outfit but yeah that's about it um, I will be updating you guys as soon as possible and until next time, I will see you guys later.